Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Monday, January 11th, and I have your word for the day. Over the next seven weeks, we will connect our Word for the Day devotionals together with our Transform Sermon Series. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about spiritual health. Did you know that your spiritual health begins with Jesus? It doesn't begin inside you. It begins with Jesus. It does not begin by attending church. It does not begin with doing good things. It does not begin with giving money away. Those things are great. But those things will make a terrible foundation for your spiritual health because they are flawed. The foundation for our spiritual life is found in the gospel of John. Jesus said first in John chapter 3, verse 3, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. So then we have to, have to ask the question, how can one be born again? Well, just a few verses later, Jesus defined what being born again looks like in John 3, verse 16. He said, For God loved the world so much that He gave His one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. We are born again and have eternal life if we believe in Him. Believing in, him makes, uh, uh, believing in Him means entrusting our lives to Him. Believing in Him means we believe that Jesus died to pay the penalty for our sins on the cross and that we have been forgiven for our sins because Jesus paid our debt. See, Jesus is the beginning of our spiritual life, but He's also the middle, the end, and He is everything in between. So if you entrusted your life to Jesus, you can start your spiritual journey right now by surrendering your life to Jesus. Simply say something like this, Father, I surrender my life to you and I commit my life to following Jesus. Thank Jesus for dying on the cross for you and paying the penalty for your sins and commit your life to following Jesus and receive Christ as your Savior and then tell him thank you. And you know what you've done? You've entrusted your life to Jesus if you said those words and meant them with all your heart. Now, if you know somebody that needs to begin their journey with Jesus, share this word for the day with them right now. God bless.